Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Pirates Outlaws on iOS with me, Jelenon. We're going to try out Time and Brawl now. Uh, we did just play with Gunner, so we should probably try with Swordmaster. Now, I am wondering... If we unlock them here, do we unlock them everywhere? Huh. Well, let's start with the Swordmaster. And it says no restarts, which I didn't think there were restarts anywhere anyway. Uh, pick a package. I'm guessing ranged, mark... Ammo? Maybe? Let's take the mark. <laughs> so yes, we could take headlong bash. Hmm. Let's take headlong bash. Because that can do damage and either help or hurt us. And then we can take the rose, it looks like. That's nice. Uh, the anchor pulls people generally. That's the mark for injury on the right. No idea what this one in the middle is. Booster strike. What are boosters? Uh, what? Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Giant tentacle plus three attack damage. Add one tentacle bind to hand at the start of battle. You can't afford plunder ammo. Huh. Well, let's take the giant tentacle. That seems interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna try some stuff here. We'll see how this goes. So, tentacle bind. Okay, so you can't play anything in your hand at the beginning. Oh, that's... That's not so great. Let's try it, yeah. Hmm. Let me start with no escape. Maybe it gave us those cards because we chose that one packet. So we get all the cards from that pack? Looks like it. Higher HP than you. So Soul Torn is basically useless. Unless we get a ton of damage. Huh. Then Long Bash. Then Cleave. Cleave again. We could shoot. Why not? It's damage. Okay. I probably could have done that turn better than I wasn't sure I'd shoot. Uh, so, Booster Strike. Does that boost anything in our hand? No. Yeah, and we do take all the cards that we saw, it looks like. Okay. Weird. Oh, and it keeps going. And that's going to explode, right? Hmm. We can't play any of those cards. Well, that's useful to know. Alright, at least the ammo's upgraded. Okay, so agility. Ammo. Misdirect. End our turn. The rose is helping us heal when we get criticals. Which is nice. So boost strike, I think, is boosting itself. Because it's a booster card, I guess. Okay. Well, I don't hate that. That's for sure. And then I think... I think we'll kick for more HP back. And we'll try to take out this guy a little bit more. Yeah. Can't afford the agility. And he hit. How dare he hit. Okay. So is Booster helping our shoot as well? That's interesting. Well, we don't have any ammo, so no point in that. Uh, Soul Torn actually does give us a little bit. That guy had more HP than us. And we could do the bloody mark, but there's no point right now. Okay. So Headlong Bash might give him a mark. There we go. Okay. Then we cleave. And then we are set we have no ammo. So let's get the ammo. We can misdirect booster strike. Or just booster strike after the bloody mark. Yeah. So we'll do this. Oh, okay. The barrel didn't... I thought it might carry over and help us with this next group of foes, but I was wrong. Okay. 
Okay, three out of five in the top left corner. Good to know. Just noticed that. Oh, it's no escape too. We can apply mark with it. Sounds like a plan to me. Mm. I think we save it. So first we kick. And we say, no escape for you. And we do that. This does mean a uh, chance of taking damage. And we took it. Yep. Uh, but we can do this again. Then we get you. Uh, let's use cleave here. Because then, yep. We still have this step available. Let's see. Booster strike. Definitely probably the best thing we got was booster strike. Because it just keeps getting better and better. Hmm. We will increase our agility. And we'll play our ammunition A. And then we just kick for the win. Oh, what's that? Wild. Interesting. So he's a lobster claw pirate. Okay. No idea what that does. Uh, I do want to use misdirect here just to see what happens. Oh, it makes everybody drunk, apparently. That's not so great for us. But... Hmm. Um, I think we play this now just in case this works. Okay, yep. It worked. And then we made ourselves take more damage. Which isn't a big deal, because if he does hit us, he deals more damage anyway. And he missed, so that was fine. A headlong bash could put a mark on that dude. Or the next dude. So we'll do that, actually. Because there's a chance this works out better for us. Except not. I take it back. Yeah. Misplayed. Um, I should have done the headlong bash earlier. Then if we did gain the mark, we could have done the agility to get rid of it. So, mistakes were made. And this 13 damage we can do that. Hmm. Um, let's kick. We'll do this. Misdirect, get our HP back, cleave, and that is neither ranged nor melee damage. So I wonder if that means like the spike shell wouldn't work on it? Probably. Hmm, so we don't have any ammo, which is really hurting us again. Alright. Hmm. Okay, well, we can bloody mark. This is the end of the combat, so we should. There's a chance that works, and that works. Okay. Oh, we get back to our full health. Okay. Um, let's take the sword. So we take the bone spear. Deals 8 damage. Critical hit to enemies with weakened. Applies 2 weakened against enemies without it. Okay. Hammer thrust. Critical hit if you have no ammo remaining, that's huge for us. We often have that issue. Heavy blow and the knife. Ooh. Yeah, okay, well we're confirming that package for sure. Okay, and then I do want to see a pearl muscle. Plus one max ammo. Ooh. Maximum of nine ammo, I guess. Okay, magic hammer. Okay. Greed. Crown. Plus one hand size. Nice. Oh, I want that. But first... Okay, so yes, you can click back to double-check everything. Huh. Core pin. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Focus. Excavate. Prepare for battle. Draw a card and reload one if it is a ranged card. Interesting. Dice. Hmm. That could be helpful. But I think we want this. Okay. So we completed some quest thing? Okay. Not sure how, but cool. Tentacle bind prevents us from doing anything, but it's only for the first turn. Then it's gone forever. But this does mean we take 15 damage here. Which is not a small number. The bone spear, though. <laughs> we can make somebody weakened. So we want to hit the dude behind with that. Hmm. 
Wait, what happened to my plus one max ammo? Isn't that a thing? It'd be nice to be able to... Uh, there we go. Plus one hand size. Oh no, I don't have plus one max ammo. That was a different relic. Okay, so plunder ammo is still a dead card for us. Um, I'm just thinking. If I do kick... Yeah, it's unlikely I'll be able to actually KO the dude behind. So I might want to blade mark this guy in front. That's rough. Hmm. Just working through my stuff. But now we'll do this. We want to try to make this more possible. Then I think we greed. Even though we don't get ammo. Which is annoying. Okay, that guy's weakened. And we can replace the mark. So we do have to hit with both of these. Okay. Oop. Worth it. That guy was just going to get more and more damaging. Hammer thrust. So we want to make sure we have no ammo first. Oop. And then, bam! We did it. Okay. Uh, more agility? Why not? I guess that guy's going to debuff me anyway, right? You can dodge the urchins? No, you can't. Okay. Nah. Tried. So, uh, magic hammer would let us upgrade all of our skill cards. Does that even matter? Aren't all of our cards already upgraded? They are, so the magic hammer is useless. Oh dear. Ah, this is what I was looking for. That gives us plus one magic ammo. So it's a card, not a relic. I completely misunderstood that. Uh, Alright then. Boop. Um, is there any point in using our magic hammer? It gets removed. But no. I think we need to try to heal up as much as we can. We should do that. So first things first, headlong bash. Okay, we marked. So this should give us the best healing. There we go. All right. Then we have misdirection. Oop. Thankfully, we still have our agility. All right, and plunder ammo is useless right now. But now we can actually afford to pay for it. We just have to get there. Okay, so I think we kick. No escape heavy blow. Yeah. I think we can KO the guy in the middle. So, there is no escape for you now, sir. Boop. Blip. Blop. Blam. And there we go. Onomatopoeia. Uh, we have three ammo. We're not going to be able to use Hammer Thrust's ability. So we'll just have to bloody mock someone. Uh, nobody has more health than me right now. Sadness. So we'll do this. And then, yeah. We want to use Bone Spear last. Because it applies weakened. Yoink. There we go. Alright. Yeah. And I was thinking if that guy had survived, then we would have replaced the mark with weakened. So... Order was important there. Uh, we don't have our hammer thingy. I think we can afford to take a turn to do this and get it out of the deck. We can add some more agility. We can include some more weakness. There we go. Yeah, and then we just wait for more setup, I think, or no, we'll do that too. Okay. We want to use our weakest thing here, which is our heavy blow. Yeah. So we do that. Okay. Do we use both of our ammos here? We don't have plunder ammo in here. Oh, we do. Oh, and it got upgraded. I guess it wasn't upgraded already. Hmm. Okay. So plunder ammo would have been great to get as early as possible. So let's just play all that. Hmm. 
Headlong Bash, Booster Strike, Cleave. I mean, we're going to play all of them anyway. Do I want to keep... Well, we're just going to play them all. Okay. So I wanted to do that first just to see if we'd keep everything or not. No! Didn't matter. Okay. Uh, plunder ammo we are definitely using here. No escape. Assault horn actually will give us some stuff here, so we'll do that. Hmm. We're gonna cleave first. Then we have options. We can do no escape, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, so this is actually more damage. So we'll do that. If we had done no escape first, we would have gotten the mark, but we would have only been able to play the hammer, which would have gotten the critical hit regardless, because then no ammo, right? So, yeah. Okay. Let's do a Berserker Gang. Let's get some Ajimite. Uh, then we can kick or hammer. Let's kick, because now we have no ammo, so hammer will deal critical damage. Oh, lobster pirates. Welcome to pain. Oh, you give me an injury just by hitting you? Oh, lame. Okay. Um, nothing costs three ammunition anymore, so there's no reason not to do this, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now he's immune. Even better. A heavy blow will deal critical damage. Oh, there we go. Headlong bash. Do we want to use that? I think we do. Boop. Oh, we just made ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Wait, we took damage for applying the mark? What? That seems a little redonkulous, but okay. Okay, and he had that wild thing, but now he doesn't, so I don't know what that does. Hmm. Weird. So we're doing that. We can still use no escape. Booster Strike will KO in one. Okay. Then we can misdirect Bone Spear. Hmm. Any reason to do anything different? No. Alright. We took a little bit of damage. Could have been worse. Oh, that archer. Very good archer, apparently. So, Hammer Thrust will not do what we want for a bit. We can get rid of our mark with agility. We can Berserker Gang, if we wish. The question is the timing. So... I think we kick, cleave, Berserker Gang, Hammer Thrust. Kick, cleave, Berserker Gang, Hammer Thrust, ammo. Okay, and we dodged the ten. Nice. Okay. Um, this is the last battle, so we might as well do that. Do that. Kablam. Oh, and we could actually stack the mark with Headlong Dash. That's nice. Well, let's check these. So, Rock. Plus five melee damage this turn. That's cool. Bravery. Plus one attack damage, plus five max HP. Bluff. Huh. That's interesting. Bone Knife. Beast Fang Necklace. Both of those. I'm assuming I have to get rid of something like the tentacle. Hmm. I actually kind of like the tentacle. Hmm. The knife we probably don't need if we can afford plunder ammo. Decisions. Well, let's check these other ones. Yeah, we don't really want these. about you. Charge. All attacks have a 40% chance to crit when this is in your hand. Execute. So, anybody with lower HP takes critical damage. That's interesting. Ooh. Battle Instinct is nice. Okay. I like the helmet. Keeps us alive. Oh. One time per battle. I think we take this. Helmet. Yes. So, Spiked Club. 
how uh, can I... Okay, yes. So the tentacle gives us plus three attack damage. I think we get rid of the knife. I think this will be worth it. Since we have plunder ammo and stuff, and all we have to do is get to the point where we can play it. Uh, yeah, like, right now, we can... Pearl muscle. Oh no, we can't! Because of the tentacle bite. Oh! Actually, that's okay. But, still annoying. Oh, they blew that up, apparently. So there's a chance we take 28 damage here. That's not great for us. Assault horn. So this is one boss battle. So we'll gain plus one attack. Booster strike. And we have to get rid of this barrel. So we're doing that if we can. <laughs> if we can hit it. Uh, okay, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, we're doing this. Then we're doing that. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's damage. Oof. Charge means we deal more damage, right? 40% chance to crit while this is in the hand. Alright. Uh, we try to get rid of that. And that works. Huh. Hmm. Do we greed here? We've already passed the Pearl Muscle, but that would help us maybe get more stuff done. Yeah, we can do this. Then that. Then that. Oh, it doesn't matter, but... Well, we got rid of it. Oh my goodness, another barrel. Are you serious? This is the wrong class to play against this character. Clearly. Um, execute. So if it's a critical hit, does that mean it always hits? I don't think so, right? Well, let's use misdirect first. Because that means we deal damage to the boss. Weakened would get rid of her current thing. Battle instinct. Hmm. I think we have to use agility to make sure we hit. Sadly. Because we just kind of need to. And I wanted to play Battle Instinct, but that's okay. Life will go on. Hmm. Plunder ammo, I can't play you right now. Okay. Okay, so we don't need to play the mark right now. Which is kind of hilarious. So we're going to do this. This will be an automatic crit, since we have no ammo. Then that. We can't play plunder ammo, so we're going to do nothing right now. We dodged, so that's nice. Um, we can't use the magic hammer. Okay, that's... Hmm. Yeah, that's a terrible turn right there. Hopefully we dodge. No, we do not. Okay, pearl muscle, thank you. Alright, execute. Misdirect, I think, is what we want, though. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can headlong bash. That might even... Okay, no, just missed. Got it. Uh, okay. Well, we healed up thanks to our critical hits from our inebriated state. Hmm. I have nothing to get rid of my current condition. So we just go with trying to get rid of that thing. Uh, booster strike for damage. Hit you with that. Okay. Well, we're trying. Okay, we can use plunder ammo. Yes. Okay. So we will. Uh, she's weakened right now. If we bloody mark, that means she'll deal like 10 twice. And we don't have dodge up. So I don't think we actually want to put a mark on her. Hilariously enough. Okay, yeah, we missed with our absolutely going to hit with a critical hit thing, so... Okay. But yeah, the lifesteal we have is very nice. We have the, what is it, 25% lifesteal on all melee attacks? So that's cool. So we can do this. And I don't want to use battle instincts because I want to use you. And then I want to use battle instincts. So hopefully this will work well, maybe not quite. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Now we can magic hammer, get rid of it forever. Alright. 
And we can't really afford to do everything, but we can do that. And that is something. Okay, anything else? Nope. Alright, painful. Hmm, we have ammo. We will misdirect. Heavy blow. Kick. We've got all of our health back, so that's nice. She's below half health, so she switched stances, apparently. She ripped the barrel apart. <laughs> so maybe we won't have to deal with the barrel every time. Uh, let's try headlong bash first. Nope. Because if we could have marked her, we could have maybe dealt more damage, but not well. Okay. We're using agility. Then we can put the bloody mark on her. Okay. We can end with weakened. Doing another agility, doing that. Can we do this and deal less damage to us if you hit? Yeah. Good combo. All right. We can once again mark, so we should. Then we just deal the damage. We've got a lot of health now. That's nice. Okay, execute. We can almost use execute, which is pretty great. So we're going to do that. Oop. Blip. Blop. Okay. Yay! So we made it through one tavern brawl with 26 minutes, 15 seconds. Nice! So the lifesteal was huge for that. Did we gain coins and stuff because of that? Weird. Okay. So it said continue. Huh. Okay. Well, sweet. I liked that. Uh, oh, we gained a record. That's what that was. Complete a game. Get the lucky package. Complete a game of Tavern Brawl with seven different characters. Fifteen characters. What? <laughs> In 20 minutes. With fifteen different characters. And never get drunk. That'd be nice. Defeat the Tavern Keeper when both of you are drunk. Defeat two waves of enemies in one turn. That's going to be difficult without a lot of card draw. Well, dear viewer, this has been the Tavern Brawl feature of Pirates Outlaws. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more I was giving videos. Comment below on what your favorite part of this Tavern Brawl is. I really like it. It's a fun game mode when you're just trying to look for a shorter, faster version of Pirates Outlaws. So I'm glad they made it. Have a great day, dear viewer.